Poker News. We are here with Ellie Alesra, winner of the 10K PLO 8 or Better. Ellie, can you just tell everybody what's going through your head right now? Well, you saw I was very emotional because uh, my dad died 14 days ago. Mm. And uh, I wanted to win one for him, so I did it. And today is my anniversary. Wow. So 31, 31 years for my wife and for my father in Israel. He died, and, and I'm so happy I can show them this Hall of Famer still gathered. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So this is bracelet number five for you. What does it mean getting that fifth one? Well, I, again, I, I'll tell you, I'm 62 now, and uh, to, you know, after 50 years old, I think that I'm the only one that got uh, four, four bracelets mm. after 50, and, and I'm gonna keep competing, and I said it, I believe I said it last in November, I told Poker News, or it was a World Series of Poker, I told them, I'm going to win. The next year, I'm going to win another one. I said it in start, <laughs> but I miss it. It wasn't start. It was Oma, which is another version that I love. Yeah. So how are you able to do it as you grow older in years? How are you able to keep playing at such a high level? You know, I, I love the, the competition. I love the adrenaline, and I love, I mean, I know most of the players, like I would say 90% of them, I play with them. I play five, six days a week cash game, and uh, I just keep keep competing, keep competing, and uh, I'll, I'll keep bringing them home, you know? <laughs> For sure. So all of your bracelets, they've been in mixed games. What about mixed games do you enjoy, and how do you excel in mixed games specifically? I just, uh, I know I'm a dog in the No Limit Hold'em. I'm not as good in regular PLO, but I love mixed game, and uh, I keep telling everybody, when you love a game, the game loves you back. <laughs> I like and, that. <laughs> and uh, that's in start, and now, oh my, the better, love me back, so I, the mixed game is my specialty, because I'll play anyone. Gotcha. So, a lot of people growing up, especially me, they know you from being one of the original high stakes poker cash players along with Poker After Dark. Can you walk through your journey from those TV shows up until now? Yes, I mean, I, t I keep telling Maury and then I told Lyle Berman that they make me famous. Lyle Berman started with the WPTN and I won the WPTN. And Maury lately with the Poker Go that they're doing the most amazing job. I've been invited to the, all those Poker After Dark and uh, Ice Stakes Poker and I'm going to play the new season, you know, with Doyle and yeah. Those, those. I mean, the, the years back, I mean, everyone walked to me in any place I go, and they recognize me like I'm a superstar from this, uh, from Ice Stakes. Ice Stakes is such an amazing competition, and I love the idea that Kerry Katz and uh, Poker Go keep doing it, you know. And now, uh, I mean, it's become such an amazing show. And look what's happened to poker. I think we broke every record, and I believe. It's going to be 10,000 people in the main event, so we're going to keep it up, you know, we're going to keep going. I'm, I mean, I want to tell the World Series the most amazing job the Bali's and Perry is doing. I mean, we all love it, every one of the High Limit players I'm talking to. So in a year to come, I'm sure we're going to break more records, and I, I hope one day my picture will be in one of those things too. I hope so too. <laughs> um, so you've done a lot in your career, you know, you're already in the Hall of Fame. Where would you say this win ranks all time for you? Well, I'm just showing them that it's belong, I belong there. And it's definitely uh, right, I would say, on top of my 10 accomplishment, you know? And uh, again, for my dad, Makhlouf, Michael, I want the bracelet for you. And for my wife, that's happy anniversary. We're here, that's what we did, number one. <laughs>